With four out of the seven phase polling over in Bihar, the ruling NDA and opposition India bloc are locked in a fierce political battle. This election is particularly important for Chief Minister Nitish Kumar, who against which sides in January this year. In 2019, the NDA alliance, where BJP and JD were apart, they had won 39 out of the 40 seats in the state. As it is the case in other states, Prime Minister Narendra Modi leads NDA campaign in the state to retain their tally to achieve its ambitious targets of 400 plus seats across the country. On the other side, Tejasvi Yadav, the leader of opposition in the state assembly, leads the India Blocks campaign. Tejasvi has proved his popularity during the 2020 assembly polls when RJD emerged as the single largest party in the state. During the current round of elections, Tejasvi is keeping the focus on jobs and employment. He even touts his 17 month tenure as a deputy CM, part of Nitish cabinet, where the government gave jobs and employment to 5 lakh people. The NDA alliance targets RJD, particularly Lalu's family, as Tejasvi's two sisters, Misa Bharti and Rohini, are also contesting Lok Sabha polls. Lalu, who's always been a crowd puller from the RJD, is absent from the scene because of his ill health. This has led to Tejasvi shouldering the entire responsibility of leading India Bloc's campaign in the state. Tejasvi claims that June 4th could throw up surprising results in the state. If the results are indeed surprising, it could impact Chief Minister Nitish Kumar the most. Nitish Kumar has been the state CM since 2005, barring a few months. Due to his able administration, he earned the nickname Susashan Babu. However, over the last couple of years, unemployment has become acute in the state, which turned into a topic of debate across this election. In Bihar, caste plays a very important role. The ruling NDA alliance draws its support from the upper caste for the BJP, extremely backward for the Nitish Kumar, Dalits for Jitam Ram Manji and Chirag Swan's party. On the other side, Tejashri Yadav draws support from the traditional vote bank of Muslim Yadav. However, during this elections, they've also tried to rope in other caste through strategic alliances, which also includes Congress. Nitish Kumar's grip on power has been steadfast, as no single party has managed to form a government independently in the recent years. Both the BJP and RJD are biding their time for an opportunity. A surprising election result could be that opening the need. Nitish supporters argue that his frequent side switching is a strategy to avoid undue pressure from the allies. However, if the NDS numbers dwindle, Nitish Kumar will face significant pressure, especially with assembly elections looming next year.